well then, the most high, Yahweh's preference is outdated. If that's what you're saying, because according to the scripture, you're supposed to be a modern surprise. Right. Cut to the damn point. Right. So you saying the most high, Yahweh's is outdated? Right, come on. Wait, wait, that's no slip up. He said that twice. Run that back. I said, well, then the most high Yahweh Shah's preference is outdated. If that's what you're saying, because according to the scripture, you're supposed to be a modest surprise. Right. Cut to the damn point. Right. So you're saying the most high Yahweh Shah's outdated? Right, come on. Shalom. This is High Priest Kahalah, Love the Law, also known as Calvin Israel. Back with another video lesson, giving all praises. Honor, power, glory, dominion, majesty, reverence, blessings, worship, love, and admiration to the Most High, Yahweh, and Yahweh only. Double honors, triple honors to Yahweh, and Yahweh only. No Baha Shem. Understand that. All right. Now, the title of today's video lesson is Christian Light Rebellion Part 2. Now, on our previous channel, we did Christian Light Delusion and we did all the way up to Part 7 or 8, right? Well, on this channel, we're going to do Christian Light Rebellion. All right. And now we're on Part 2. H.O.Y. Priest Zabak Rebuke. Yeah, that's right. And I'm like torn between the two. I don't know if it's these Christian lights, like the elder Christian lights, are they under a strong delusion or they are just in complete rebellion and too prideful to just swallow the truth pill and repent because all of their works is going to be in vain. They're going to be embarrassed to have to humble themselves and come out and tell the people the truth that JC, Idol Shy, do not exist. The New Testament is a book of fiction, a work, a deceitful work. Crafty counsel from our enemies, the Edomites. They've been teaching idolatry this whole time. They can't come out and tell the people that. They can't come out and tell their congregation that even though somewhere down the line they found this truth. They just can't. Accept the embarrassment. They can't take the ridicule, the reproach, right? So, what these Christian lights do, they know the truth and teach a lie. They know the truth and live a lie, right? Because I'm pretty sure that Priest of Bach knows that Idol Shy is not the most high. Right? And I thought he just slipped up, a little slip of the tongue, okay, whatever. But he was bold enough to say it again. Most high Idol Shy. Whoa! So I'm like, okay, the witchcraft, sorcery in the New Testament is really working. It's doing this job. The replacement theology that they got in there, JC replacing the Most High, this stuff is really working. And it got our people in complete rebellion. And our elders, man, I don't respect these elders out here, man. One West elders, Christian elders. I don't respect you idolater elders, man. 
Y'all are shameful, disgraceful, distasteful. I don't respect these old fools. Right? OG to me stands for old goat. And goat do not stand for greatest of all time. Y'all just some old heads, some damn fools that can't accept the truth. Isaiah 30 verse 8. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, lying children. So you're lying. Rather in your delusion or rather knowingly, you're lying right here in verse eight. The most high says that to write this in a book because it's for a time to come. So the most high is telling us even in Jeremiah 23, Jeremiah 11, that there's going to be great idolatry coming out of Israel in the latter days. Of course, the most high said that that is a part of our curse, that we will be shipped to the four corners of the earth in our enemy's land, and there we will serve other gods that neither our fathers have known. Gods of wood and stone. And that's exactly what's taking place right now in this beautiful awakening and before this beautiful awakening. Idolatry are people serving the God of wood and stone, the God of stone, that Kabbalah stone, that black stone in that black box that the Muslims circle around in their rituals. That's what Deuteronomy 28 is talking about, that we will serve a God of stone in the land of our enemy. The God of wood is JC on the wooden cross. So Yahweh says that we will be in the land of our enemies serving false gods, gods of wood and stone. The stone representing Islam and the wood representing Christianity. And Zabak and other One West Christians will agree to that. That that's part of the curse in Deuteronomy 28. And they will say that the stone represent Islam and that the wood represent Christianity. But the wood don't represent JC. Like our people are literally in these churches Literally praying to a wooden cross. And we all been in the church before. We all come from the plantation church. And we know that that's really not the case. Our people is not in the Christian church. Literally worshiping a wooden cross. We know that Deuteronomy 28 is telling us that our people would be worshiping JC on the wooden cross. Like, come on, man. And this, this damn One West Christian camp stuff, man, this One West doctrine is just Christianity with a Hebrew twist. It's Hebrewanity. What is y'all really coming up out of? What is y'all really waking up from? 
All it is is colorism, right? All it is is that you're waking up to realize that white supremacy is false. So you say that JC is not white, he's black, right? But you don't know that the Edomites created him to be black just so that he can relate to you more and you can relate to him more. You will feel more comfortable doing what he say. They created you in black idol. They created us a black idol, a black fictional character. That tells us to do things that are pro-Rome to further the Roman rule. That's what it is. A decoy. JC is a mask over the Edomites. The Edomites is a mask over Lucifer. The New Testament is a work of the spiritual demon Lucifer. Jeremiah 5 and 23. But this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. And y'all dumbasses like Zabak, man, y'all really think that the Most High got you billions of Christians out here to target, hunt down, and look for us, the small minority group of Israelites that serve Yahweh only. He got all of y'all out here. Billions of Christian lights to look for a thousand Israelites that serve the most high Yahweh only to tell us. He got all y'all out there. All you Christian evangelists. He got all y'all out there to search for us, the minority, the ones that serve the Most High only, Torah to not only, and tell us that we're in error and that we're going to be destroyed if we do not repent from serving Yahweh only and believe that our salvation is is through JC. Right? You really believe that. <laughs> right? You dumbass really believe that, right? You really foolish enough to believe that. That all of you, you see the army that IUIC has, ISUPK, Sakari, HOI, WFI, all of these Christians in the Christian churches, you're telling us that all of you are sent by the Most High to tell us, Torah only Israelites that serve Yahweh only, to repent from serving Yahweh only and believe our salvation comes through another. Man, you don't know the Most High. You don't know the God of Israel. Right? You're off. You're in complete rebellion. You have a rebellious heart. Yeah. Real bold like that. These idolaters real bold like that. You real bold. So I know he knows. He's just... In complete rebellion right now, man. This damn old head's a bop, man. Mind is starting to slip. See, your mind is starting to slip when you seen it. And I know you seen it. You were supposed to repent right then and there. You were supposed to stop your campaign. And be like, hold up, man. Hey, yo, it's in here, man, over and over and over and over that the Most High is alone for us to serve him only. Look, 
I'm about to put this New Testament on trial, man. You were supposed to do that, but you didn't. And now you got very old. You waxed old in idolatry. And now you actually think that idol shy is the most high. Right? You went from You went from serving to you went from speaking in the name of another God, JC, Idol Shy. You went from stealing the most high's words from him and putting it on Idol Shy, saying Idol Shy is the word of God. To actually believing that JC is God. You actually believe JC is the most high. Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hands all the day long unto a rebellious people. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Most high idol shy. After their own thoughts. Like, right? And the New Testament got y'all going off, of course. Like, right? Got you in complete rebellion right now, man. It got you off. It got you. It got you going on. And the most high got us out here. The one third. To go and tell all of y'all. Y'all are easier to reach, easier to find. Finding us is like a needle in a haystack, right? So y'all coming to us would be less likely. Us going to all of you is more sensible, right? Because we see y'all everywhere. Y'all everywhere. We can run into y'all anywhere, Christian, anywhere, and be like, look, check it out, man. The New Testament is not real. Run down some scriptures. Yeah, you got to repent. Serve the Most High Yahweh only. He wants you to serve him only. You know what I mean? Jeremiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth this year. Thou shalt die because thou hast taught rebellion against Yahweh. Yeah, you're going to die, priest Zabak. Because you are teaching rebellion against Yahweh. You are teaching that the Israelite salvation is through another. When the Most High said, Exodus 20 and 3, thou shalt have no God before me. But JC says in the book of John in the 14th chapter that he's the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody gets to the Father except through him. That's a God before Yahweh, if you have to go through someone before you get to Yahweh, that's someone before Yahweh, and you guys just always skip over the first commandment, the most important commandment, and then you go to Exodus 20 and 4, and you skip Exodus 20 and 3, because that's a guilt trip on you guys. I noticed that you guys do that. You guys are in complete rebellion. You guys know what's up. So, Haniah, the prophet, died the same year in the seventh month. Yeah, man, you teaching rebellion against the Most High. That's what you're doing, man. You're a false prophet, rebellious priest. Right? Teaching lies. Teaching rebellion. Most high idol shy. Teaching rebellion. So the most high got us out here warning y'all, man. 
The Most High says it over and over. The book of Isaiah got great monotheistic knowledge. The Hebrew culture, the Hebrew nation is monotheistic, right? One God, the practice of serving one God, believing in one God. Hero Israel, Yahweh our God, is one Lord. That's Deuteronomy 6, 4, all right? Did you think that the Most High is telling you that there's no God with him, no strange God with him. He led us alone. He's alone. He stretched forth the heavens alone. There's no other savior besides him. And he's stressing it over and over and over in Isaiah and these other books like Hosea, Deuteronomy, Jeremiah, and all these books he's telling you. What you think? That the Most High is just speaking to himself talk? You're going to overlook this? You're going to just bypass all of this stuff he's saying about him being alone and to serve him only? Or you're going to die? Yeah, it's serious. He says you are going to die if you don't. So that's why he is telling you this over and over and over, he tells you that he hates idolatry for crying out loud. He even tells you the main reason why we're in I, why we're in captivity is because idolatry. So you think that the Most High is just saying this over and over and over, stressing this to you, repeating himself like a broken record? You think that's all for nothing? This is the word of God. He's not trying to trick you. Oh, there's no savior besides me, but here's a savior over here besides me, JC. Come on, he's not trying to trick you. He's telling you the truth. And you still don't see it. You still being finessed by the white boy, the white boy running game on you in his Greek literature, the New Testament. This is Isaiah 55 and 11, right? The word of God is not JC. The word of God will not come back to God void. Okay? Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. No, I sent him. To I sent it. Whereto I sent it. No, to where I sent him because JC is the word of God. No. Prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So unless JC is not the son of man and he's an it. <laughs> he's not the word of God. JC is not the word of God. That is just stupid to think that the word of God is a human being, the son of man. That is just completely dumb to think that, man. Right? And what got you thinking like that? What got you thinking that the most high is idol shy, JC. The New Testament, right here. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then you go right here to verse 14, down to verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Right? So, 
That don't make no sense. And we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. But the father is God, though. And the word is God. Right? There you go. Like... In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Like It's not hard to understand that they are playing a psychological game here. They're playing a trick on words. But they run a game on y'all. They know these teachings are going to go out. They put a whole bunch of confusion in the world. And it's working on you. You read it so much. It's been a part of Israel for so long. It's just hard to detach from. Like, right? Yeah, that's right. This New Testament is deeply embedded into our hearts and in our community. Because for a long time, the church was all we had. It was an escape from our terrible communities, bad living conditions, on Sundays, we'll go to the church, gather together all those that is trying to do good. They meet up at the church and sing hymns and have a good time, eat, you know, praise, you know, and just in a bunch of idolatry, having a good time, getting that good old fuzzy feeling, you know, being happy in idolatry, you know, not knowing, doing the best that we can, but not knowing though, all right? And once again, our people are not in there praying to no wooden cross. The hell, you never been to a Christian church before, you dumbass? Our people are not in there Bowing down and praying and worshiping any type of fucking wood. So the wood in Deuteronomy 28 that the Most High is talking about, obviously, is the fictional character that is said to be on the wood. You dumbass Negroes. Like for real. Stop playing, man. This is not a game. Repent. And tell our peoples the truth. You lying ass rebellious idolater. You're going to be killed boy. In front of all Israel. The Most High is going to make you a public example. Zabak. Going to knock your ass down boy. So it's not worth being some damn Christian rock star. Out here on the street corners. Being known and popular and famous amongst the Hebrew Israelite community. But then, on the day of your visitation, on your judgment day, when you go back to see the Most High and you're to be judged and your test to be graded, boy, so much shame is going to be put on you. And Israel is going to be looking at you like you're not Israel and going to see you for the dumbass that you truly are. And you let Lucifer, you know what I'm saying, screw you over from the back, boy. Yeah, a lot of embarrassment is coming your way anyway. So you need to just take it now and repent so that some mercy can come towards you. Yeah, they know who I am, man. I've been up out here, man, telling y'all to repent. Zabak, follow me on Instagram. 
Nyquan from WFI, follow me on Instagram. Man, they know who I am and the algorithm and all of that. When I drop a video, they know we connected and follow each other on social media. Yeah, man, they yeah, they see my videos when it drop and all of that, man. Especially since they following me and I'm not following them. You dig what I'm saying, man? Yeah, they know. Yeah, they see. Yeah, it pop up on their news feed when I drop something. That's against the New Testament. Yeah, because they follow me on Instagram and on social media and all of that. Yeah, man, on my last YouTube channel, the channel had over 100,000 views, man. Yeah, I know y'all have seen something. And my main topic is idolatry and speaking against the New Testament, pulling our people up out of the New Testament. Yeah, y'all have seen this work. Y'all have seen my videos. You know what's up. You know you got to repent. You know you wrong. You got this warning. You got this sharp rebuke. Y'all ignoring me. Y'all don't want to deal with me. Because y'all know for sure. You give me an honest debate. The people is going to see the truth. And you're going to be really looking stupid. Cut up, chopped up, confounded. Isaiah 55 and 11 again. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Void. It shall not return unto me void. Void means expired, terminated, canceled. Understand that. So let's see. If JC is the word of God. JC is making the word go back to the most high void. So JC is not God. JC is not the word of God because the word of God is not going to come back void, expired, terminated, or canceled. Rearranged, changed, or anything because the most high does not change. You old fool. You old fool. You sound smart to a dumbass. This whole time, over 20 years, and you still can't get it. Hey, yo, was you snoring cocaine in your youth when you was in the world thugging in the streets, bro? Hansa Baka's like, bro, like heroin, liquid heroin, like meth. What was it? You didn't damage something to where you can't perceive this simple truth? Matthew 5, 17. This is what they choked up on, man. And they can't get past this euphemism right here. Matthew 5, 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. This is a euphemism. This is saying something Unpleasant, saying something unpleasant, disrespectful or rude in a nice way, in an acceptable way. That's what a euphemism is. This is what this is right here. I have not come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. To fulfill means to complete. To complete means to bring to an end. Hi. This is a euphemism. He did come to destroy the law. He was created, invented by the Edomite Romans to destroy the law. But he can't just come right out and say it because people won't accept it like that. He has to smooth it over. Like, we didn't kill the dog, we just put it to sleep. A euphemism. A euphemism is what Jada Pickett used on her husband, Will Smith. No, I didn't commit adultery. It was just an entanglement. That's euphemism. Word magic, word sorcery. Right? But in the same chapter, when you go down to verse 38, he did come to destroy the law. And the word is coming back to the most high void. And the most high said it wouldn't do that. Matthew 5, 38, ye have heard that it has been said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. 
But I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. Now the word of the Most High, which is eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, is being expired here. Void. Now his word is going back to him. Void. So JC is not the Most High. JC is not the word of God. Because JC makes the word of God come back void. It makes it seem like the Most High changes when he does not change. Okay. Here is where it says an eye for an eye. Exodus 21. We're going to start at verse 23. Exodus 21 verse 23. And if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Now, this is my God. This is the God I serve, the Most High Yahweh, that don't change, that don't switch up, that I can be stumped down for because I know he don't change. He's solid, as solid as it comes. He does not change. I can trust into that. I can walk in that with confidence, real mighty. He doesn't change. No one can deceive me now, mislead me now, finesse me, trick me, deceive me, because I know my God does not change. So the New Testament can't come along and be like, Hey, look, he's doing things like this now. It's not an eye for an eye no more. You know, it's just turn the other cheek. Right? It's no dietary law. It's whatever goes into your belly, your belly purges it. Like what? Nothing that goes in you defiles you. The Most High is changing all of a sudden. His word is coming back void. Keyword, nothing. Nothing that goes in you can defile you. Your body purges all meats. He said that. So if he's talking about clean meat, dumbass, how is your stomach going to purge Purify, clean, something that's already purged, purified, and clean. Huh? He's not talking about kosher food. He's not talking about clean meat. Because it doesn't need to be purged by your belly because it's already clean. You stupid idiot. Like for real, man. You just twist this to your own destruction. That's all you Christian lights be doing, man. And you're going to be destroyed. You will be killed. You will see the second death on you. You will see the second death. You will die in idolatry and go and see the most high Yahweh that hates idolatry. You're going to die believing in something that don't exist and going to see the most high that do exist that hates idolatry. You're going to go and see him as someone that he hates the most. Because that's all I see in the Hebrew scriptures. The Most High has a problem with Israel and idolatry. They just don't get it. They have to serve him only. They refuse to. And that's why we're in captivity right now. Man, it's evident that the Most High hates idolatry. It's evident. That Israel, the Israelites, are some big idolaters. Look at you. Look in the mirror. Look what you're doing. Reflect. Take some time to smell the roses. What the hell are you guys doing out here? Pushing an idol. Something that has an image. 
and you're telling our people that their salvation is through Idleshy, and you're telling our people that Idleshy is the most high. You stupid. You're going to pay for that. Psalms 102, 27, but thou art the same. Yeah, the most high is the same, and thy years shall have no end. The Most High been the same. The Most High is the Ancient of Days. The Most High is going to continue to be the same forever. He has no end. He's going to be the same for eternity. So for eternity, he's going to hate human sacrifice. For eternity, he's going to hate abominable rat eaters, pig eaters, right? For eternity, he's going to stay the same. His dietary law is going to stay the same. All right? The Most High does not change. This is the God that I serve right here, man. The God that does not change. Psalms 89. And we're going to go to verse 34. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. This is Psalms 89 verse 34. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. The Most High does not change. Okay? He said an eye for an eye. JC came as the word of God and said, that's void. That's expired. That's terminated. That's canceled. That's what? You want a euphemism? That's fulfilled. Now, it's Turn the other cheek. Resist not evil. If you resist not evil, then you give in to it. JC is wicked. JC is a wicked invention. JC has now altered the things that has gone out of the Most High's lips. Yes, the Most High has lips. He has arms, fingers, you know, hands, right? A voice, his own words. Hey, you fell for the okie doke, man. From the okies. <laughs> you fell for the okie doke from the okies that they put in Crafty Council in Okieville, man. You fell for it, man. You fell for the okie doke from the okies that they put together in Crafty Council in Okieville. <laughs> Malachi 3 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Understand that. You're consumed if the most high changes. Why? Because someone can throw you off and tell you that he changed his mind and now he got new laws and his laws are catering to the Roman rule now. Someone then came with the Greek New Testament and threw you off. Now you're consumed. You're going to be consumed because you let someone convince you that the most high changed. You dumb as hell, man. Right? JC is not the word of God. And that's where you're getting it from. That JC is the most high. Because you're like, well, the word was God. And the word was made flesh. Right? Meditating on that and repeating that enough. Like, that'll do it to you. That's some real word magic, man. That's sorcery. The New Testament is witchcraft. It puts you in idolatry. The 
That's what witchcraft does. That's what witchcraft is all about. Going to another to get something. To feel like you're getting something. You're going to JC for what? Eternal life. You're going to JC because JC says he's the water of life. You're going to him for salvation. Another. When did the Most High say that your salvation was through another? Jeremiah 23 verse 30. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says Yahweh. That still my words, every one from his neighbor. There you go. Behold, I am against the prophet, says Yahweh, that uses their tongues and say, he saith. You steal the Most High's word and then you say, JC said it. The Most High said he's against you for that. All this is prophesied. You're just the rebellious children in the latter days that's caught up in idolatry. You are the children of the ancient idolaters, ancient BL worshipers that the Most High is saying is now in these latter days. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, says Yahweh, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies, Most High Idol Shah. And by their lightness. Yet I sent them not. Nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all. Says Shehawah. You're not bringing no profit to the children of Israel. Even in their state of captivity. You're not bringing no profit to them telling them that their salvation is through an invisible idol, a fictional character, JC, idol shy. They're not profiting from you. You're not doing any good. You're thinking you're making a change. You're not. Telling people that they're Israelites. So what? whoop de do I'd rather not know that I'm an Israelite but know who my God is and not be an idolatry I'd rather live my life knowing believing that I'm a Gentile yeah and serve the most high Yahweh only than to Know that I'm an Israelite, but not know what's required of the Israelites, man. Whew, woo. No, I don't want that. Understand that. Look, boy, let me break this down to you and then I'm up out of here, man. Let me show you this right here, man. Look, Idol Shai is not the most high, man. Yahweh is the most high. Understand that. Psalms 83 and 18. That men may know. Yeah, Zabak. That your dumbass may know. That thou whose name alone. Alone. Is Yahweh. Art. The most high. Over all the earth. That men may know. That you. Whose name alone, alone is Yahweh, alone, not Yahweh Bahashem Idoshai, whose name alone is Yahweh, art the most high over all the earth. So Idoshai is not the most high. So cut that out. Ain't no most high Idoshai. It's most high Yahweh. Right? That men may know that you, whose name alone is Yahweh, he that exists, 
name alone. Idol Shy is another name. It's a different name. Yahweh Shy is not Yahweh. Yahweh is not Yahweh Shy. It's two different names with two different meanings. All right. So we see here Yahweh is the most high. The most high is Yahweh alone. Boy, your ass done gone crazy. Come back to reality, man, because you're going to get killed and we're going to all see it on the second earth. We're all going to see your second death, boy. Yeah, your whole congregation as well. So you better tighten up, bro. Come out and do something miraculous. Repent. Turn towards the Most High Yahweh only. Yeah. Give us that big shot, man. We want to see that. Yeah. Let us see that you got some understanding. Yeah. Go back to the drawing board. Yeah, come back to the round table. We all must sit down and talk this out, see this through. Let's go and re-evaluate this thing, man. You better. Your life is on the line. Your soul is on the line here, man. You got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in these scriptures. All right, straight up, bruh. Get up in these scriptures. Wrestles with these scriptures, man. Get the flipping these pages, zooplexing these pages, man. And get to knowing what's required of you. Zabak. All right. Yeah, man. You a priest. And this is a message from the high priest to priest Zabak. Repent. You are a wicked priest. You are in wickedness. The wickedness of idolatry. You are in rebellion. All right? Examine yourself, man. Repent. 